G'day everyone, Ray here from Pitwater Mowing. Today I'm going to take you along with me while I'm mowing a lawn. I'm going to film the whole job. Usually I just sort of film little patches of lawn here and there, like just a front yard or, you know, backyard. I'm going to film the whole job. So it will be a longer, a little bit longer, but a lot of people are requesting. They just go, Ray, just take us for the whole job. We just want to watch everything you do. So, yeah, I'll show you how I... Uh, unload and load my mowers into my vehicle um, I'll talk a little bit about my mower my Honda lawn mower how it works and I'll be actually mulching a lawn today so I'll explain how the blades and you know show you how all that works and I'll be using my steel hand tools I've got a new line trimmer motor the steel combi motor and that's I have all different attachments that go into the end of that like a hedge trimmer or an edger attachment they just click in and out of the the motor so you only need one motor it's a um, really good system the steel combi gear and the blower I'll be using is my old faithful steel BG86 they're awesome blowers I've been using them forever and yeah not very happy with them they, this one's about three months old I get about 18 months or so out of my hand tools, my line trimmers and blowers. Um, I like to keep the stuff new. It needs to be reliable. Like when I go to jobs, I don't want to be dealing with issues, you know. I just like it, you know, start nice and easy and get the job, job done nice and quick. Anyway, come along with us and we'll uh, get started. Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying my channel. It really helps my channel grow. This is how I unload all my gear. It's the combi motor with the line trimmer attachment in it. Then I have my blower just up the side there. The witch's hat. Always put that out. Especially when you're unloading on the side of the road. Um, I have had a car run into me once. It was only a little touch, but uh, yeah, you've got to be careful. There's the mower. I'm just tightening up the handle on it now the ramp that I use is a wheelchair loading ramp they're about $150 and you buy them on eBay my shirts are available for sale I've partnered with Teespring these days so there's a full range of merch but um yeah, grab a shirt, it supports the channel. Everything fits quite nicely in the ute. That's just my uh, fuel, two stroke, uh, wheel spray, two stroke oil, uh, bar oil for the chainsaw, plain unleaded. Got a weed sprayer in there. Um, that's the just my push mower, it's not self propelled, it's a Honda 197D. I use that on smaller jobs or if there's lots of stairs just for the yeah where you don't need a self-propelled in the bucket at the back I've got oh, just a few bits and pieces like a bush saw hedge trimmer edger attachment they're all connect onto the steel combi system so you just undo it here and you can uh, swap the ends out actually just got a new motor there powerhead the steel km94 RC awesome yeah awesome motor just um heaps of power nice and light and yeah this one motor you can put all the different attachments in it so um yeah it's very versatile and then this big mower just fits up the side here and can all be locked away
I'll just take you over and show you how good it is mulching. The grass is actually a little bit wet, but um, that's obviously where I've mowed. That's the half that we're still mowing, so there's a lot of leaves and whatnot, but um, now these Honda mowers, they mulch grass beautifully. Very rarely do you need to use the catcher. Most of my lawns I mulch like this, it just comes up beautiful. And it's actually very healthy for the lawn as well. Puts all those nutrients back in there, and the grass just loves it. Anyway, I'll get back into it. Show you the blades on the mower. It's got four blades. They're swing back blades, so if you hit anything, it um, swings back. Um, so you're not going to damage anything. It's a lot harder to, um, yeah, damage the crank of the motor. Some mowers just have a single bar, and there's just no give. If you hit a rock or something, or a bit of concrete edging. It can bend it and it, then it can damage the motor. It can um, bend the, uh, damage the crank in the motor. But um, this is the mower I did up um, beginning of the year. So it's got a reconditioned gearbox, all new bearings, new wheel bearings, all new wheels. Um, and yeah, there's actually a new deck as well. So it was a genuine Honda deck, which is holding up well. They do wear out. They actually wear out from the inside out. It's just all the stones and whatnot inside. But um, yeah, so all wheels, bearings. This motor, it's actually done 788 hours. The motors on these are great. I change the oil, you know, every month basically. And it just keeps them going forever. Keep the air filter nice and clean. And use a um, nice quality fuel. No ethanol or anything. Um, the motors I've heard you can get up to 5,000 hours. Um, I have had some modifications done here. Just to strengthen the handle. That's where they do brake. This is the older model. Honda 216D. Without the blade brake obviously. So... With your controls, you just have your throttle, accelerator, then you have three gears. I, mine pretty much stays in speed gear number two, um, permanently. And then you just squeeze this in to operate the clutch. So, when it's in that position, it's actually driving and that will disengage it. It's self-propelled. But uh, awesome mowers you can just see how good they mulch grass um i've been using these mowers for you know close to 15 years now and um i picked them up second hand here and there because they stopped making these about 10 years ago but um no absolutely awesome mowers
just like that, it is done.